Hey y'all, it's your girl. I'm in this kitchen, baby, doing what I do. So what I'm about to do is finish up with my little pork stir fry. I got my pork chopped up right here. I got my rice. I got my onions. And I got my garlic chopped up. And of course I got my soy sauce. Now, here's what I want y'all to know. That little piece of pork loin that I had, what I did was I boiled it a little. I boiled it a little. I put a little bit of vinegar and seasoning in it. Then afterwards, my rice was a little bit too mushy or too stuck together. So what I did was, as you can see, because I wanted that flavor from the pork in there, what I did was I poured that juice down in this pork. I mean the pork juice down in the rice so that it could get some of that flavor. So now I got my little wok pan going. About to put some olive oil in here. You could use whatever kind of olive oil it is that you like. Me personally, I like Iberia. Iberia has a really good olive oil, and I swear by this, Iberia. Anywho, so what we about to do now is once this, I already let my pan get a little bit hot. Once my pan gets hot, then what I do, I put the grease in there once the pan is already hot. Pan is already hot, I'm sorry. Um, Get this hot a little bit. And then I'm going to put my onions in there and my garlic. Remember I told y'all earlier, don't use too much garlic. Because when you use a fresh garlic, you put too much in there, it gives it a horrible, horrible taste. It almost makes your mouth like burn or something like that. Ain't nobody trying to do none of that. All right. So what I'm doing, got my pan here. Trying to make sure that my grease is a little bit hot. Got my little onion. I got my little teeny bit of garlic, but it's fresh. And remember I told y'all in the earlier video that I generally like to chop my garlic up. You can put it in a chopper if you want, but you got to do what you want to do. See, because what I do in this kitchen, I don't measure nothing. I really don't. I come from a family of cooks, and the cooks that was in my family, they just cook stuff. What I do is always run my hand in water. Ah, that's how you know your grease is hot. Now what I'm gonna do, put my garlic down in here. So I'll take that around a little bit. Lots of onions. I love a lot of onions. So I'm gonna stir my onions down in here with this garlic. Smells good already. Yeah, it does smell good already. <laughs> and you can smell, and you wanna turn your pan down a little because you don't want your garlic to burn. That's another thing. You don't want no damn burnt garlic. I don't wait till the onions are necessarily cooked, cooked. Now what I'm gonna do, this is a pork loin. Remember I had that pork loin? Pork loin from Save-A-Lot. That thing was $14 in me and I've got a family of five. We've eaten off of that three times. Y'all better stop sleeping on Save-A-Lot. Save-A-Lot be having some good food. Their meats be good and they be fresh. So now what I'm about to do is put my pork down in here. It's already done. So with everything being already done, it's not like you gotta do no whole lot to it. So you gonna stir this up in here like this, like that, like there. I got a couple of onions in here that's a little too big for my liking. So I gotta slice it up a little bit. What'd you say, Sans? Smells good. That's what Jazz said. It smells good already. Because what it is, is we use fresh garlic. And I was telling them that you cannot use too much garlic. Because if you use too much, it'll have it like making your mouth feel like it's burning. Huh? No? I'm stirring this up in here. And as I go, I see a couple of onions in here. Y'all got to excuse me, but this is my kitchen for my family. My cans are clean. And like I said, you do what you want in your kitchen. I do what I want in mine. So don't even come at me with no nonsense about she digging all in the pan. Show Liz. Ain't no need me sitting up here pretending like I don't. And y'all that be sitting around criticizing people, y'all do the same old shit. Be digging your hands all in the pot, eating out the pot and shit like that. Everybody do it. Don't even pretend like you don't. Just trying to cut these onions up a little bit more because they're a little too big for me. 
And I like onions, but I really don't like them too big. All right. So we got that going. I'm going to turn that heat up just a little bit more because I want this to start getting a little bit more brown. I love onions. And it ain't nothing like having some onions. Another thing I don't do, I don't do all that specialty plating and all that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Because my kids around here, as soon as I say it's done, they ready to eat. Ain't nobody got time for all that special, beautiful plating and all that stuff. We ain't trying to impress nobody, baby. We keep it 100 up in here. They be like, Ma, is that food done yet? I be like, yep. And I fix everybody's plate, honey. They don't give a damn what it looks like long as they can eat it. Ain't that right, Google? Yup. Y'all, I got jazz on the camera. <clears throat> so now, it's starting to simmer down a little bit, right? Y'all see that? My pan had cooled off a little bit too much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat my pan back up a little bit more. I am going to taste this part. I mean, outside perspective of how important things. Mm, mm, mm. mm. Hot damn my mouth. So anyway, the pan is heating up a little bit. I'm gonna give Devin a piece because he's gonna bring nuisance. Yummy. The pan is getting hot a little bit again. So what I'm gonna do, take another little dab of olive oil. I'm gonna put it down in here on this side. Let it heat up a little bit more. Then I'm gonna start putting my rice in there. And I'm gonna whip that stuff up, sprinkle a little soy sauce on it. Bam! I did tell y'all I was gonna do some vegetables. I lied. <laughs> I don't feel like it. So what I'm about to do now, throw some rice up in there. Oh, I'm making a mess. I'm gonna eat that. <laughs> Now, all this rice I have is not going to fit up in here. So, I'm going to do what I can. All right? Now, this is what I'm going to do. Start mixing it. This is some more quick stuff you can do. Something real quick. And you don't feel like cooking no whole lot. And you don't want no great, big, old, spectacular dishes. You ain't got time for all of that, honey. You just want to throw a little. Mommy used to call it a goulash. Now, I know some people call goulash the thing with the spaghetti noodles and this, that, and the other. Mommy called anything that you whipped up together in a pan a goulash. And that stuff be real good. I know a couple of my girlfriends, Mommy used to fix that for. We used to go out before we would go out. Mommy might have some Chinese food in there. She might have some leftover roast beef or something or pork chops. She might have some rice or some macaroni and cheese, child. And mommy would throw all that shit together in a pan, put it on a plate, and eat it. And one night, my girlfriend Pebbles and Alicia came over. And mommy gave them a plate of that. They tore it up. Now, what I'm doing right now is sprinkling in a little bit of soy sauce. That's it. I'm going to whip this up. I might go ahead on and do the vegetables. I ain't really sure. I ain't really sure. I might throw some vegetables on the side. I do it if I feel like it. If I don't, I won't. But they really don't care. They really don't. This is something really quick. It ain't nothing special. It ain't nothing pretty. It ain't nothing like that. This is something quick. And there you have it. Pause for a second. Yeah. Okay. Fit that shit on a plate just like that. A little dollop of soy sauce across the top. Let's taste it, Miss Jazz. It's a little family goulash. Mm-mm. <laughs> mm, -mm, -mm. Here, get it. <laughs> 
That's good. Oh my god. It's real good. So I'm assuming the jazz is gonna take this plate. Yep. <laughs> mm. I'm tired, really don't feel like it anyway. I'm gonna get ready to get out of here. I will talk to y'all later. We'll do a little something tomorrow. Who knows? If I feel like it's 1, 2 o'clock in the morning, I might jump up and make something. Y'all know how I do. So from my kitchen to yours, or wherever you are, I holla. You know. All right. Okay, one more thing before I go. Jasmine made me a YouTube channel. All of y'all kept on talking about I needed a YouTube channel. I needed a YouTube channel. Don't ask me what the name of it's going to be yet, but I'll be back with them details. And I'm expecting all of y'all to go ahead and subscribe. I ain't even playing with it. Y'all wanted me to get one? I'm getting one. This all started out with just me making one video talking about myself. Something that pissed me off one morning. And everybody was like, I like the way you speak. I like the way you sound and this, that, and the other. So I started videoing ever since then. Coming soon. I'll give you the details to my YouTube video. For real, for real this time. From my kitchen to yours or wherever you are. I holla.